Somebody say, student should learn how to play smart and start producing undeniable evidence and not just mere accusations. Smartphones, smartwatches can record these days. Make video footage, take screenshot of chat. If we start doing this, they will stop. That is referring to one issue that was trending on Eastern Block. Eastern Block brought this particular man's face out. That's the face. And Eastern Block also brought the name, his Facebook page, and that is uh, Tony Asihua. Apparently, according to Eastern Block, what they said, they said there are so many allegations towards this man because. This man demand for sex before offering you grades. So someone said, Tony failed my logic deli deliberately three times until he wrote me in his office in final year and gave me a C. I kept failing because I refused to date him. Shall we get She called to say, her name is Chiamaka. She called to say, yes, I am okay. I got some DMs from girls that went through the same thing. And my classmate to tweet her experience is staggering, but I'm fine. Then another girl said, shit. For some logic, Tony, Unibet Tony, that bastard told me to be grateful to God for my height. Else, he would have had me and I was not even in his department. And Okwe and Kola, whose office I was in, laughed at the joke. When Okwe got down with stroke, I knelt down in my room, thanking God. Someone walked in late to class and the lecturer yelled, Is it because I fucked you last night? That's why you are coming late. She was so embarrassed. Later cried in the class that she only did it because she was spelling for the third time. She was uh, spelling for the third times and that was the only thing he wanted. The things I have been blanked from my head are about things my friends and colleagues pass through in, the, in that department. It's why I understand when I see some of them men. Okay. So now there are two guys. This picture are Tony. And also this man, Tony. They are both Tony. They are both uh, Antony and Tony. And Tony. The same school. No, not yeah, 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 same school. We don't need to talk about all this racial uh, stuff before. Imagine racial racial the face three times. Do you know nowadays eh? Hmm? So for Nigeria. Just as some people want to join police to oppress people, or soldiers to oppress, like so some lecturers, they like to do lecture job. You have to oppress students. Because of, of a female student. Yeah. In fact, there are some lecturers and during their school time, primary, school, uh, primary secondary, a university, they don't even get mad to talk to girls. But they will make in their promise to become lecturer in order to they do, do girls. Do we girls. We're on a dealing. Uh, you face somebody three times, you don't go upstairs. At the end of the day, you rape mm -hmm. her. And the other the other one, the girl come your class late. You say, Anna, because I knocked you yesterday night, that's why they call my class late. We yeah. pray to everybody. Embarrassment. People they suffer. What they do with them? Nigeria, Nigeria, eh? 
What thing we no go suffer for? Tell me, one thing make we no go suffer for for this country. One thing, no, no, no. One thing make go just go straight away without any issue. I never see. You it. just go once, just straight. I Everything mean. just define. Nothing, know. nothing happen without any issues. I never see that. Well, lie. If I want find school for my child, then eh, eh, we we'll lie here. Eh. I don't care eh, if that school na higher institution than ever seen before. If I check the reputation of that school, my daughter is not going to that school. I don't want it. My daughter is not going to that school. It's painful. It didn't painful. If you see within some of these girls, they go through for school. Very, very yeah, here yeah, another testimony. This one is Anin Namasi. She said. That man, Tony, is the major reason I have not gone to collect my certificate. A very useless and unfortunate man. It was during exam period in my final year, I was walking into the faculty to get materials for my next exam. Then this guy, a student, walked up to me and asked, You are messy, right? I was like, yes, and so? I thought I was low-key student, so in my mind, I was wondering why this guy defied me. Then he responded, Mr. Tony wants to see you. I replied, why? The guy, looking, the guy looking relieved responded, I don't know, but he asked me to bring you to his office. Bring me care, okay. I will go and meet him. When I'm done, the guy already tried. I must take you to him myself, please. Let's just go and meet him now. Then you can go and do what you want. Knowing who Dr. Tony is, I refuse and assure the guy I will go and meet. Then I try walking away when suddenly the guy grabbed me by the hand and was ready to lift me as he legit wanted to carry me to Tony. I virtually agreed to follow the guy. While we were on our way to Tony's office, the guy kept on apologizing to me and told him, Tony is refusing to mark his script until he brings me to his office. <laughs> I was like, God, I beg you. We go, we go to his office and Tony told the boy to go and go and not worry anymore. I met other guests in his office that day. He took me to where our script was and showed me mine. He singled it out. It was unmarked, whereas he has marked others, except mine. This man told me he wanted to see me before marking it, and that I have been avoiding him all these years, and I will explain why I have been avoiding him. According to him, he had my name, but never really encountered me because I was being too smart trying to avoid him. This, past, this was past 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. This man kept me and the other girls in his office talking, drinking, and being stupid. He made sure I stayed in his office till 6 in the evening and said, I am going with him to staff club. I didn't know what it was or what they did there. I begged this man and told him that I just came to pick up some materials and not prepare for any kind of worker. This man ignored me. One of the girls there just quietly told me to just follow him, that they were also going with him, and I did not want to get him angry. I maintained myself because my script had not been marked. See here. I was traumatized all over again just by remembering it. Or it is when this man flush his smelly, dirty little dick at flash flashes flash sorry flashed his smelly dirty little dick at me in his office. Or when this man asked me to call him Erema because he discovered his wife came from my hometown. And said that's how they call elders in my place, or whatever that means. Or is it when I will save money just to buy him alcohol 
so he wouldn't even think of wanting to sleep with me or is it when i almost paid hook up girls to help me sleep with him so he won't reason my side or is it when this man tried to kiss me with his dirty and smelly mouth or is it when this man will tell me he has slept with almost all the girls in my department and i was nothing special or is it the constant reminder that the constant reminder from this man that i can never graduate without his impute whatever god want to do in this earth all i know is that he must punish and publicly embarrass that man called tony a bastard man of many fathers long too much so since they don't bring them out now where they face them now because normally no they... see this is not an evidence okay. that's why i start this video we waited that guy talk see it's about time girls stop making food uh making just posts and, that, you, and it's social there's no evidence now nah, this recording carry your 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 phone will be recording your phone is your your chat word, your word your record chat go expose them you understand but if you check that, see, it's kind of like people, they, they are afraid now. Shout the record. Even as far as a uh, necklace. That's why I say, Father, eh? I say, Father, please. Despite your daughter, buy out those gadgets. Buy out those secret gadgets. Necklace and chains. All those things. Buy her those things. Tell her, if any lecturer is trying any other thing with you, record him. That's all. Yeah. And that lecturer is gone. Yeah. Record them. They expose them. Because mm -hmm. this story way it is now three people talk about the man now. And this story where they talk now. I believe they are not lying. But no no proof. No proof. They cannot persecute the man with me. But if many women come aside, boldly come aside, like ten, the man is gone. But that man too much. The man is gone. If the determine say that they are class a class, different, different year. Different year. Let me say the same. Mm, diff different, different year. The same story. The same story. Similar story. That will deal with that. But that man is gone. Just see the man face. Ah. Well, to end that end this video, let's talk about Tony Tony Abraham. Yesterday was Children's Day. She said, I am very I am not happy on this Children's Day. Happy Children's Day to all the children and to the parents who were once children. I should celebrate this day. It is essential to acknowledge that the need for better parenting. Recent online encounter and observation compiled me to share this heartfelt message with every parent and guide them. The quality of children we are raising today needs serious attention. We, need, we now have kids who see respect and courtesy as burdens. How do we feel reading some of the things the youth say to adults online under the guise of being woke or adopting a no-tolerance attitude? Many of us were not raised the way we are raising our kids today. We are raising them with kids' clothes. Because we believe time have changed. However, different time and not excuse to raise disrespectful children. Before I continue, it's quite unfortunate. Hmm? I understand our pain, talking about respect for elders. But over the years, how have the elders made us proud in this country? Because elders are supposed to sacrifice. Elders taught us one thing. They said, they said, respect is hand, not demanded. If you are an elder, they will respect you. But unfortunately, many elders eh, have destroyed this country. They keep talking. In fact, they are now social media influencers. They put themselves in that category. 
to a place we no longer some people no longer feel the need to respect them anymore so i understand what is she they talk i'll say continue i read uh what is she right but first i don't want to point that out respect elders respect elders respect elders respect elders our father respect their fathers because of what their father did last time talking about the civil war and everything you know what your father did you respect your dad make their part the father proud but now our own father never really fought the civil war you understand they never really did anything and the one may fight self they have joined this new age of my time i will chop when a when an old man a 60 years old old man is looting funds for his great grand grand grandchildren for his daughter children nobody daughter children for all that generation for for my own public fund stealing from me they pay their school fees and you want me to <laughs> respect that old man oh it's a different time indeed yeah unfortunately unfortunately it's a different time let me continue then she said despite our age and blessings there are still things we would not tell our parents not out of fear but out of respect this children's day should remind us to do better as parents and raise children who are respectful and kind the recent tragic event at a uh, 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 crowder university where student killed a fellow student in the name of jungle justice allied the severe consequences of lack of home training and moral values even if thief occur, it does not justify taking another person's life. Respect, courtesy, responsibility, kindness, and hard work are value we were raised with. Although we may not have liked the discipline at the time, we are grateful to our parents today for insisting this value in us. Okay, let me uh, to him, Brian. You foresee also. When Tony Abraham will address the old people? The old people? Uh -huh. you know, maybe when I should not do now. When, maybe when they do old people <laughs> Because I don't know what you will battle with that one. That's what you do at the end. Yeah, you say when you talk to the children. <laughs> and we don't hear. But well, normally she, she, she talk quick. She said the right she thing. She talk quick. Because many parents these days, uh, they, they do uh, a young care life. You see your, your daughter, your son, they wrote, see they go for your eye. With a pen, pampa, 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 the better. Tomorrow, that boy or that girl will disgrace you. So, for she to reason this thing, I know she she not think come because I did it to what they see. So, for what is she right? I know she said it wrong. So, maybe when will they do Father's Day? She will address Father. You are dead for that. When they do Mother's Day, go yeah, they do Leader's that. Day, go toss him, make a thief again. Yeah. <laughs> like that one they will come pick on. Now she's talking to nobody. Nobody invite her. Yeah, children, no, so if you talk to picking, you, you, you will, if you talk to children, you are not there. Nobody invite her. <laughs> we talk to her. They go invite her. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching the boy again. Let's catch you next time. Peace.